Hello everybody, how are we all? Um, today is going to be, I'm not going to be cooking today. Um, I know there's quite a few people on my channel who like pre-made meals and pros of meals and all that. So I've been and got myself. Now I usually make all this myself anyway, because um, it tastes a lot better. But I know some people like this sort of stuff. So I've got myself a Crestwoods Cottage Pie. Uh, from Aldi, £4.39p. Um, I think it was due from £5.50 or something. Um, it looks nice, but I know looks are deceiving on these. Uh, so I thought we'll make that and we'll try it and we'll see what it's like. Okay, so that's it anyway. Crestwoods, cottage pie, a hearty, delicious recipe. Uh, same great taste, new look. I've never had it, so I'm not sure. What it tastes like before. £4.39. Uh, yeah, £4.39. There's all the uh, nutrition and that, if you want to have a look. Serves four people. Take that out a minute and I'll turn it over. Now, it's not frozen. Obviously, I don't know if to do some frozen or whether you put them in the free if they've been in the freezer. But from chilled, it's 40 minutes in the oven. The oven's already warming up. British beef with onions, carrot, celery and leek in a rich gravy topped with mashed potato. There's all the ingredients. If you want to have yourselves a look, have a pause and do what you do. And there's all the nutrition. And there's the thing. Uh, could have done with some more mashed potato and the edges there. Uh, do, do, do take the film lid off. Oven. You can do it in the microwave as well. I'm not doing the microwave, I'm doing it in the oven. I always think, think th things taste better in the oven anyway. Place on a baker tray in the middle of the shelf for preheated oven for time specified. If cooking from frozen, remove fil film lid for the final 30 minutes. That's what that says. Uh, I'm cooking from chilled. If cooking from chilled, remove the film lid. Alright, let's remove that then. So let's have a look now. There it is. And I can smell it. it smells like the mints you used to get at school. That's what it smells like. Um, and that's having gravy with hers. There's probably a load of gravy in there, but she's going to have some more gravy. And she's going to have some of these tender stems uh, broccoli. She's having some of them. They're quite nice, they are from Aldi. But I'm going to have some I've never had before. Uh, I don't know why I've never had it. Um, I'm going to have beans. I don't mean beans in it. I'm going to have beans like a bean gravy, like you do with a uh, cheese and potato pie. Because I know you can put beans when you make your own in uh, cottage pies and everything, just to bulk it all out. But I've never actually had it as a gravy. And I don't know why. I've never done it before. Uh, so, anyway, I've got the oven warming up. Let's get a pan out of the oven. And we'll get that on there. There we go. And that'll go in the oven for 40 minutes. Okay. Um, while that's in the oven, uh, it's only been in about 10 minutes. I'm going to do some onion gravy for that. Um, I've only got gravy granules. I've just looked for some stock in the cupboard. I ain't got none. So, and I've only got onion gravy granules anyway. Uh, that's it there. But I'm going to put some proper onion in there anyway. Just to make it a bit nicer. So I'm going to put a knob of butter in. Get that warmed up. Uh, melted. Turn that down a bit. It's a bit hot. And there's only nat having the gravy. Anyway. So I've just done half an onion. Just chopped it up thin. I'm going to leave it big. I'm not going to leave it. Uh, cut it. Dice it. We'll get the onions in. And we'll fry them up. For a few minutes. Get it all prepared, eh? and then I've only got to do the gravy granules then and pour them in and just let it simmer down and thicken up a bit, that's all. I do like uh, cottage pie, homemade. 
especially when the weather gets a bit cold that right now starting to just start to change in it okay they're done they can just be left uh nothing else to do now um i did show you this didn't i it is 1.2 kg it says 1.5 on uh on their website um so i don't know whether that's a bit older and i've took some ingredients out and it's a bit smaller now i'm not sure you have to let me know whether you've had it uh yeah and the beans these are aldi premium uh 45p i think in a rich tomato sauce uh not gonna be nothing like Heinz or anything is it but i was up aldi so we just got these ones and a couple of minutes in the pan with them so there's not a lot to do now guys okay guys we've got about five minutes to go uh, I'm just going to get me bro broccoli stems in now, bit of salt in the hot water. Get them in for about five minutes. You can steam them, can't you, if you want or what, but I ain't put a few in, so from that. Uh, I'm going to get me pan on for me gravy. Nice and low, I'm going to get me beans on, nice and low. I made the gravy granules already. And I'm just going to pour my gravy in. See, it's always got the, the onion bits in there already. Uh, more like powdered onion, really, that's all it is. And we just bring it all to the boil. Uh, and simmer it up and get it thick. Thickening up already, because it is quite thick anyway. I made it quite thick. So that's good. And we'll get the pie out. The cottage pie. We'll let that cool down for a minute. And there's the cottage pie. With a bit of plastic on it. Let's get the plastic out of there. There we go. Ugh. So what do you think? First impressions. Mmm. It looks okay, doesn't it? Um, looks a bit thin. I think it's going to be a bit more like slop, I think. Because when I do my cottage pies, I do mine in this. I do my cottage pies. And they always get it up to about this little top line there. So it's really thick. Do you get what I mean? Mince up to about there. And then potato on top. Uh, and it costs about a fiver to make. And then this is what, £4.39 was it or something like that? I can't remember. So here's the... There's not a lot of difference. Turn that off, that gravy now. There's not a lot of difference. We're making your own. Especially if you just bought yourself a, a bag of frozen veg. You know what I mean? Depending on what you like. Some mints. What's mints? 20% uh, mints from Aldi. Beef is about, about 250 for 500 gram or something. Something like that. Some frozen veg. A bag of that, but you wouldn't use a bag. Pound a bag. So 50p of that. I use half it to pack it up. Some potatoes for what are potatoes now? What about £1.30? Obviously, you've got to use a bit of milk, a bit of butter, a bit of seasoning. Do you know what I mean? And it doesn't take you a lot longer because you could have your oven warming up while your potatoes are boiling. Do you get what I mean? And then fry your stuff up and you're ready to go. Anyway, let's dish up and have a look. Okay, um, I've dished up. Uh, let me just show you. Let me know what you think. That's it there, look. I did say it looked a bit sloppy, wouldn't I? Didn't I? Uh, I haven't put any beans. i put my beans in there for now. I'm going to put my beans all over the top, obviously, to pack it out. That's already cracking on my verse. She's putting a bit more salt on it, obviously. There's the uh, broccoli stems there. She put a gravy on and your gravy's there. And that's it, look. It seems to be all potatoes, doesn't it? And, and just uh, tin meats, doesn't it? That's what it seems like, doesn't it? Yeah. School, school dinner thing. But you're tasting it. What do you think? First impression? Nice. Is it quite nice? Oh, okay. Not like. Potatoes a bit bland. Potatoes a bit bland. Yeah, but I just put some salt Yeah. Thick. Okay, and that seems to quite like it. Quite nice, actually. It's quite nice. Now let me try mine. Let me put a. Uh, I'll just show you like that first. Mmm. Not sure, me. 
Mm. Nice and crispy topping though, isn't it? Yeah. Let's bring you down and I'll put my beans on so you can see. It's not as bad as what it looks. It's not as bad as what no. it looks. Uh-huh. And I've never had, I don't know why I've never done that, you know. I've never had beans on top of a shepherd's pie or cottage pie. It's probably because I don't eat baked beans much. I've never had it. But well, pack your meat, pack your meat out, wouldn't it? I've had it in there, but I've never had it as a like a gravy thing. Do you get what I mean? Mm. I think that's because of the light. There we go. Mm. Well, let's have a crack then. Here's some of this mince without any of the. Um, the mince is really nice. Mince is nice, is it? Yeah. It hundred percent reminds me of school dinner. Yeah. Doesn't it? You it's, think so? Yeah. It's the it's the potato. Let me try some potato. The potato looks really hot though, isn't it? It's not that bad. And there's the crispy potato. And it's, got, it's got some salt on it. I mean, I don't like a lot of salt anyway. Um, it's missing the butteriness, isn't it? You think it's missing? I don't think it's so much salt. It's got a bit of salt in there. For someone who doesn't have a lot of salt, anyway. Yeah, you can tell. It's, mi it's missing more of the butteriness mash. If you get what I mean. Salt in the meat, but not on the. But mash. you can't on the match. I can taste it on the match. Um, but it's that butteriness. You know mm. what I mean? That butteriness thing. But. Um, and just try it all together with the beans and it's everything. It's not fluffy, it's dense. Yeah, and it's dense, isn't it? That's yeah. What, yeah. I think that's what we're trying to explain. It's going to be boiling up. The mashed potato reminds me of microwave potato. I don't know why. It's got that taste to it. Yeah, but it probably is, isn't it? It's probably... It's not... They're not going to mash yeah, it all I in the what, factory, yeah, are they? Yeah, I know what you mean. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. It's going to be machined. <laughs> like that, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. It's not, it's not fluffy, it's so all in all, it's, it's, quite it's, it's not bad, is it? Mm -mm. It's all right. I mean, them beans on top. You packs your meal out. I mean, it doesn't look the best. But, it packs your meal out, doesn't it? Mm. Um, would I buy that again? No, I probably wouldn't buy it again because I've made my own. And I do make my own. But I think if you... Live on your own or something, you know what I mean? Or if you know, you know, like pee on your own, you know what I mean? And you can't do a lot of cooking or you don't want to, it'd probably be alright with you with a bit of vegetables and some homemade gravy or something, wouldn't it? Hmm? Do you think? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, sorry. But I would make me, I would personally make me own for probably an extra pound more. Uh, but there you go, as I say, what's it called again? <laughs> oh. Crestwoods. I mean, the top looks a bit like it, the bottom doesn't. Uh, bottom <laughs> the just, bottom doesn't look like it. That, bottom no. don't look like it. The top does. Uh, but yeah, all in all, Crestwoods Cottage Pie. A hearty and delicious recipe. It is not delicious, but it's it's not horrible, isn't it? You know, you get some of that um, pre pre packed stuff and it's not very nice, is it? Mm. You could, this is eatable, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Anyway, as I say, I'm the old food guy. Let me know if you've had that before, or if you've had one from another shop, and maybe I could try that. Uh, till the next time, I'll see you later. What are you going to give that out of ten? I reckon I'm going to get, I reckon six and a half, seven. Six and a half, I'm going to say six and a half. I was just going to go for a six. Six, I'm going to go six and a half. Six and a half, and I don't think that's bad for pre-made stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. So there we go anyway. See you all later. Bye-bye.